Hello everyone. In this session, I'm going to show you how we can create a counter app in React. So for that, first let me just create a folder on my desktop itself where I want to create this React app. So let me just rename this folder to React Applications. Now, open this folder and copy the path. Now once after copying the path, open the command prompt and navigate to that particular folder by typing cd then paste the path like this okay so once uh, you are in this particular folder okay you'll need a software which is called as create react app so that has to be globally installed in your system so let me say npm install hyphen g stands for global then the software name is called as create hyphen react hyphen app hit enter and it will download create react app software globally in your system now using this software create react app i'm going to name my app as counter application okay counter application is going to be the name of our application so can you see the folder has been created in that particular location so now it is installing all the react libraries react dom react script chat create react app templates so once the installation is done okay we are going to get these two messages saying that first you have to navigate to your folder that is the project folder that is this one and to run your application you will have to run this command that is npm start so first uh, let us navigate to that particular folder so i am going to say cd counter underscore application And now we are inside that folder and now to run the application you just have to say npm start and hit enter it's going to open up your browser and it's going to start your application on localhost 3000 url so it says starting your development server like this and it has successfully launched our application in the browser so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this uh, window and now let's copy this uh, counter application path. Okay, now you can use any one of your editors to write the code. So I'm using uh, Visual Studio code. So let me just minimize this and our app is running here at the back end. And let's go to file, open folder and i'll navigate to that particular folder counter application and hit enter select folder and you'll be inside that particular folder right now okay and now here in src folder you are going to see your app.js file which is this particular file right now and let me just delete whatever is there in that header tag and this logo is also not required so let me just remove that and let's come here and say in h1 react applications okay so you'll be seeing react applications on the screen okay now let's create our first component so let me just first create a folder called as uh, components and in that folder let me create a new file called as counter.js now this is going to be a class based component so i'm going to say rc E and hit enter and it's going to give you a class called as counter which extends component and it is going to have the main function that is the render and render function will return something on the screen and at the last we'll be having the export statement that is export default counter let's put a semicolon at the last and this export statement from the top is not required so now let's save this one and this has to be imported in app.js file so let's come to app.js file and say import counter okay and it is going to import that counter from components folder counter.js file so now here after the h1 i'm going to say uh, let's say uh, counter close the tag like this save it and you'll be seeing that counter on the screen which is written here inside this particular division okay so let me just come here instead of div uh, let's say we say like this 
h tree counter app let's save it and here we have that our counter app now uh, let's add some bootstrap files to this one it will be very easy to add a bootstrap css class names to our application so let's go to get bootstrap.com website just click on get started and you are going to see the css files and the javascript files ready for us okay just copy this uh, css file let's go to our editor and in public folder you are going to see index.html file uh, let's just delete all these uh, commented lines that are not required now the copied css file you will have to put it inside the head tag like this that will be called as the link and the scripts files see guys script files are these files these three you can copy these and put it in the body tag just before closing the body tag so let me just copy this one also and put it inside the body tag at the last okay so this is how we add bootstrap class name to our application so let's uh, close this one and uh, let's add uh, the bootstrap class name so you will have to say class name is equal to first of all i want to make it as a container and let's give us border okay a bordered component like that uh, let me just come to the app and as you can see we have got the border and uh, since i have given container we are seeing left side and right side little bit of gap okay so this is our app right now okay and here okay what i need to do is i need to have a variable okay which will be having a starting count as zero and a three buttons will be there over here okay after this h1 after the h1 let's say we have a separate h1 for that particular number zero okay and a separate div which will have three buttons so let me say like this b o t t o n button okay this will be having that add symbol then this will be having the second button will be having that reset option and the third button will be having the minus symbol like this okay so we have three buttons over here okay and now uh, let's add some bootstrap class name to that i'll say class name equal to first of all it should act like a button and button small so b t n small and uh, b g hyphen uh, s u c c e s s success like i want a like a green color button and it should be smaller like this and uh, let's make a text hyphen light so as you can see we have got the plus mark like this but instead of a plus mark you can say it as add itself so it will look much better okay and just like this class names i'll copy these class names and put it on the second button as well as well as the third button okay so we'll be saying the three buttons like this okay and let's say we have uh, the first button okay it has a margin of uh, let's say two pixels on all the three sides okay all the four sides sorry this one also m hyphen 2 and uh, this one also let's say m hyphen 2 okay so all of them will be like this and uh, for the reset button let me give you a different uh, color for that okay so let me say warning that is a yellow color and uh, for the subtraction button okay let me say danger because it uh, danger means the red color and i guess uh, that's it and instead of giving a minus symbol over there let's say subtract or let's say decrement okay decrement and here let's say increment instead of saying add so we have the three buttons with us okay increment reset and decrement button and here we have this particular value in h1 so here after this counter app uh, let's say the whole application has uh, padding on all the sides of five pixels okay so that it comes in the center like this and uh, let's do one more thing that is uh, after this let's add a horizontal line okay so it will look much better now now what we are going to do is okay we are going to make events on these three buttons 
saying that whenever increment button is given this uh, value should get incremented by one okay for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a constructor of this particular class constructor like this and let's say super okay it's a super class constructor we have to call and in this uh, constructor i'm going to say this dot state is there okay state is nothing but an object i'll say we have a number and whose initial value of that particular state is zero like this okay and that number here in line number 15 has to be shown inside this curly braces like this okay now whatever this particular uh, it says number is not defined okay see guys it says number over here and that number we have typed it here but that is a state so we will have to say this dot state dot number whatever the state of that particular number is okay so right now i have kept it as zero so we are getting to see zero on the screen if i change it to five okay that number we are going to get displayed as five but still we don't have any kind of uh, events for these three buttons as i'm clicking on this it's not going to make any changes okay so let me just increase the code size a little bit and i don't think we need this uh, okay so this is our state right now this is our state okay which is called as number and initially we will set it to zero okay initial state of this particular number is zero okay now what we need to do is inside this particular class okay i'm going to create three functions one to increment the number one to reset the number and one to decrement the number and whenever this button is getting clicked it is going to activate or call that function okay so i'm going to say we are going to have an on click event okay and it's going to call in this class okay increment method okay it's going to call an increment method just like this this reset button okay when it's clicked so we are going to have an on click function for that also in this class we are going to have reset function and now same way for the decrement i'm going to say on click of this button we are going to have a function that decrements okay decrement so these three functions has to be created now so first one is increment if that's going to be an arrow function so i'm going to give it the code like this and what it is going to do is it is going to capture the state of this particular number and increment it by one okay it's going to say uh, and uh, this dot set state is a function which sets the state and which takes an object as the argument so i'm going to say my key is this particular number and its value is whatever that this dot state dot number value is there we just add one to that that's it okay this is how it's going to increment that particular number okay so long let me just refresh this and if i increment it as you are saying we are getting the incremented number okay but it's not resetting and it is not dec decrementing okay and just like this okay just like this i'm going to copy this function and paste it over here and change this name to reset reset function okay because the second button is calling in this class that is a reset button okay so we are going to use the set state value again and this time what we are going to do is the key for this one is the number and its value should become zero okay that is the value of that particular number whenever the reset button is clicked okay so we have reset the state as zero of that variable number that's it okay our value is also done okay so let me just increment the number and let me click on reset button so when i reset it it comes back to zero okay now let's do for the decrement button okay now let's copy this increment function and paste it here at the bottom and change the name to decrement and once you have decremented okay we are going to use the same set fun state function once again and uh, it's going to take an object so the key for the object is the number and uh, the value is whatever the state of that particular number is minus one from that okay that is going to be the new state of that particular number here and which is what we are showing here in line number 26 so let me just save it and our app is 
fully functional so let me just click on increment then let me click on the decrement button and let me increment again and let me click on the reset button okay so this is how okay you're going to create your uh, counter app in react using states okay now i'm going to use uh, uh, hooks to do the same application once again okay so let's do one thing let's comment the entire counter app itself okay you're not going to see anything on the screen okay in app.js we have uh, counter counter.js we have completely commented off okay now in counter.js i'm going to create a functional component functional components are stateless components so i'm going to say react functional at the end okay so react functional component with the export statement rfe that is the snippet okay if you hit enter it will give you the code structure and here let me write my counter app name uh, let me give semicolon at the last and here this is going to give us a division and inside that division okay in h3 let me write counter application like this okay so let me just save it and as you can see we have got our counter application back okay so now let's add the same bootstrap class names which we had added earlier so let me just grab this from the top and put it here as a class names for this particular div okay so as you can see we have got that particular thing ready with us okay and now in h1 tag okay i want to display that particular number okay so for time being i'll simply put it as zero and uh, i'll have a separate division okay separate div for creating those three buttons okay so let me just grab those three buttons from the top itself and paste it over here okay let's uncomment these three lines okay let's uncomment these three lines and uh, we have our buttons also so let me just save it okay and since uh, we have not created this uh, code yet okay it's going to show it's not going to show anything because there is a syntax error over here okay now we have our app ready with us okay and uh, it's a functional component okay it's an arrow functional component okay and just uh, before the return statement okay just before the return statement i'm going to create hooks so i'm going to say constant okay like this i'm going to have a hook called as number okay and we're going to have a setter function for that so set number okay and initially the state of that particular number is going to be use state is the function and initially that number will be zero so this is the initial state of that particular number and this zero will be replaced by that whatever value of that particular number is inside curly braces okay so note here we are passing the number directly we are not saying this dot state dot number anymore because this is a functional component and functional components are stateless components okay so whatever the value of this particular number is that we are going to display here on the screen okay now what we are going to do is we are going to create functions okay one is the increment function one is the reset function and one is the decrement function okay and all of them are going to be inside this particular function itself so there is no need to say this dot anymore okay we just have to write the functions name that's it so let me just remove of that this keyword from there okay and inside the function just before the return statement i'm going to say increment okay or you can also say function increment like this open and close and what does increment function do is it is going to set uh, that number means the set number function here the setter function it is going to call okay and it is going to increment this particular number by whatever value it's going to take okay so here again i'm going to make a function called as reset like this and it's also going to set the number okay to whatever number it wants and here lastly we are going to create the decrement function like this and it is also going to call the set setter function that is the number like this okay and first let's come to the increment function okay how it's going to increment so first of all let me just refresh the page okay see it is saying use state is not defined okay because use state needs to be 
imported from the react library like this here at the top so let me just save it and as you can see we have got our app ready with us okay only thing need to do is to write the code for these three functions okay so now if you just click on the increment reset that is not going to happen okay so now how does it this uh, set number function is going to uh, increment the number by one so let's say we have an arrow function inside uh, the set number function okay whatever the previous value is there okay whatever the previous value is there it's going to give you that previous value plus added one to that okay that is how this function is going to work okay S and now we have missed one more bracket like this okay uh, i think no 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 this there's going to be only one bracket okay so now let me say save it and let me just refresh our application okay now when i click on this increment button okay whatever the previous value was there okay it is incrementing by one okay just like this i'm going to reset and i want to decrement okay so in the reset button okay reset okay i want to reset this number back to zero itself so what you can say is set the number to zero that's it okay set the number back to zero okay first of all let me just increment it and then let's reset it to zero as soon as i click on the reset button it became zero again okay now let's do for the decrement button okay or the decrement function it is going to call the set number function okay now i'm going to have an arrow function like this and whatever the previous value was there okay whatever the previous value was there it's going to give the previous value subtract one from that okay subtract one from that so let me save it first let's decrement this okay so as you can see the number is getting decremented then the reset button then the increment button okay so this is how you are going to create uh, the react counter app okay using first is the state and second one is hooks okay so please note that use state is the function to change the state of this particular number by using the set function okay whatever you have taken a variable here you are going to have same name but along with a set added to that okay so that it becomes a setter function so this is the entire code for that okay i hope you like this video i'm going to be posting lots of videos like this based on react applications okay and uh, i'm going to give the link for my github account also where you can find the source code of this one and i'm going to share the link for youtube channel also thank you very much and please subscribe